it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana and today I'm going to talk to you about how I recently graduated. So not too long ago I got a Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting and Taxation and a Bachelor of Laws and this is in New Zealand so they are well recognised within New Zealand and depending on the country etc etc you know um, it can easily be transferred to there, internationally, yada yada, <laughs> sorry, and so I guess, you know, why did I do it, why did I get into it, um, well, I haven't really had anybody before me in my family, you know, that's in my immediate family, um, that I associate with quite a lot, go to university before, and I guess I, as a child growing up, I always wanted to do, like, I don't really remember saying this, but my family told me that I'd say things like, I want to be a lawyer, or I want to be an accountant. Or I want to, you know, I want to do something that I guess would be kind of considered quite professional or corporate. And yeah, so I guess right from the get-go, I just must have always known that I wanted to head in that sort of direction. Um, so I guess how did I get there? Well, at, um, at university, which I didn't start out with, I'd actually gone to Polytech beforehand, which some of you may not know what that is, but it's kind of like, it's a tertiary education, but I guess it's more of an impractical thing that you might do, and they may offer courses that maybe a university doesn't really offer. Um, but before Polytech, um, I guess I was at high school, and I didn't want to finish my last year. I didn't actually want to do my last year of high school. Just wasn't interesting anymore. I was feeling like I was ready for a challenge. And so I left and I left home and moved to the city where I started to do, you know, do my Polytech. And I was at Polytech for a couple of years and got some diplomas, like diplomas in accounting and business. And then I thought I wanted to pick up law and, you know, turn my accounting into degrees. So I went to university and I guess that that interest in law come through from high school. I had a teacher or you know, I took a I took a law class at, at my high school, which is I'm really grateful that they offered something like that. Because I don't know many other high schools that um, do offer law as a as a class that you can do all year round. Um, in New Zealand. And so yeah, so I did that and I quite enjoyed it and we did a couple of law classes. I was at Polytech. And I quite enjoyed that, and I guess that's where it really went from there. And so, you know, I can I can pretty much start from any entry, you know, any, I could do sort of almost any entry job in the accounting sector, any entry job in the legal sector, but I'm actually working in banking, and uh, I've worked in banking for a number of years, actually. I just started a full-time job there though because while I was studying I was doing all my study full-time and working part-time so yes I'm you know it's it's a, it's a reasonably easy job because I've been doing it for quite a while now I've got the hang of it pretty well I guess you could say and yeah I mean it, it's it's an all right it's an all right um, wage salary to, to, to be on when you when you're young when you're even you know starting out from university, I didn't need any of my degrees to get the job. Um, banking's actually more about sales, but that's a video for another day. So yeah, so I am actually doing some professional study, which you need to do after you finish um, an accounting degree or a law degree. Um, so I'm doing some part-time professional study in the legal. You know, it's a professional legal study. I'm pretty sure that's what they just call it while I'm working at the bank full time. And yeah, I mean, if I want to get into accounting, I'd have to do that as well, or you know. With accounting though, you generally have to work for an accounting firm, and it takes a number of years to be fully qualified accountant here in New Zealand. In the law industry, you can do this professional study, depending on you know whether you do it part-time, full-time, weekends, nights, and all that sort of stuff. And where you live in the country, 
you know, you could get a course done in 13 weeks. It can take up to 20 weeks, that sort of thing. So I'm just doing the, um, the part-time study. And once I finish that, I go through a big application process to then be able to practice as a barrister and solicitor in New Zealand. You don't have to practice. Um, but it's there. You 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 have a practicing certificate, and and that'll be valid, easily valid in New Zealand. Um, you can also now get that transferred to any state in Australia if you want to practice within there. There's a number of other countries around the world where you could uh, you would have to possibly do the professional study again in that country, but then you could um, practice in that country. And I guess for many other countries, you may just have to do more study on top of um, your professional study. So yeah, I uh, I do have goals like of what I want to do, where I'm going, and I'm not like super strict on like this is what exactly what I'm going to be doing. But you know, that's a video for another day. So I thought, yeah, this this video's probably gone for a wee while, but I just thought I'd let you know like I guess graduating is kind of the big thing. In someone's life <laughs> and um, yeah I'm really happy that I've gone and done it and I don't, like, I don't have any regrets like completing it obviously there's things along the way that you may regret doing and you know maybe that's another video for another day where I can talk about those sort of experiences but yeah I'm in no way shape or form am I telling that you should go to university nor am I saying that you shouldn't I'm just sharing my experience and um, and you know, yeah, that I've um, that I have completed this quite a big milestone, I guess you could say, um, in my life so far. So yeah, um, let me know if you're studying, if you've studied in the past, if you're thinking about doing it in the future. Um, let me know in the description box down below. I'm going to be doing a few other sort of videos around university, and they'll be coming out shortly. So stay tuned for those and I hope you've done something that makes you happy today. See ya!